Truck is XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Welcome back to another episode of Soul Hacker Sue. In the previous episode, Raven dies at the team hands. Fig attempts a last desperate soul attack to revive him, but he is resigned to his death. Consumed by despair, as his soul fades, Fig is left alone to blame herself. She could not save him. And I feel like she's gonna be the one to bring in the Great One now that she has all five covenants. We're gonna go to the Matrix, the Axis, and see what Flamma has to say. But after today's episode, make sure to like what's supposed to push the channel. Fig can't make it today. Is that okay? What Fig needs now is rest. She was extremely lucky. Failing a soul hack could have resulted in far worse than a coma. True enough. So what's going on? Ion has foreseen a new future. I mean, we got all the covenants. I'd be panicking if the future didn't change. I guess that means our mission's complete. the hell? I said, what the hell is this? This is the new future Ion has foreseen. Why? Why Fig? You were the one closest to her. Surely you already know the answer. Flamma, what am I seeing here? Is this the end of the world? In a sense, it could also be a beginning. What? Ion's mission is to prevent the world's destruction. Whatever Fig intends to do, it is impossible for her to oppose this directive. The same is true for you, Ringo. As such, I can neither confirm nor deny your question. What's going to happen? Unknown. No, but what do you think? I do not think. Free thought is a privilege only granted to humanoid platforms such as yourselves. <sighs> I have to go. He just missed her. Said she wanted to get some fresh air or something. No, we have to bring her back. Whoa, it's all right. I think Fig can look after herself. Besides, she looked like she was feeling a lot better. Did something happen? I, I don't know yet, but we have to find her. You saw the future, didn't you? <laughs> Shh. 
You gotta be kidding. So Fig made off with the Covenants? What's she thinking? We don't know that yet. Ringo, have you been able to contact her? No. I'm sorry. We were all right here with her. We should have stopped her. Let's split up and check the places where she might have gone. I'll try Komodori. If anybody learns something, notify the rest of the group. All right. I'll take Karakacho then. I think she had a thing for Mancha. Ringo, there's no point in jumping to conclusions. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. So basically we have to look at the places that they just gave us. Let's check it out. Looks like I just missed her. Fig came here earlier to prep food for the kids. We need to find her. She can't keep this up all by herself, you know? She'll end up just like Raven. <sighs> I'm gonna keep up the search here. I'll contact you if I find anything. Thanks. I'm counting on you. Saizo, did you find Fig? Hey, Ringo. Yeah, I asked the girl working here. And sure enough, Fig came by. She said she was wandering around with some sort of spaced out look on her face. Doesn't sound like her to me. I'm gonna dig around a bit more. If we're lucky, she might still be in the area. I think I'll check with my summoner pals. All right. She was? Yes. Only left a moment or two ago. She seemed very calm. Almost to a worrying degree. Fig. Ringo, it seems Fig was here. I'm going to look around a bit more. Sure. I'll check somewhere else. Ringo. Fig! You're okay! Where are you right now? I'm waiting at the safe house. Hey, you must be doing a lot better if you're up and on your feet, huh? That's great. Still, you shouldn't just take off without telling anyone like that. We were all really worried about you. <sighs> What's wrong, Fig? Are you still not feeling good? Maybe you better see Flamma for an overhaul. It's alright, though. 
We saved the world and everything, so now we can just take our time with the covenants, you know? <laughs> take our time. Sounding more human every day. <sighs> hey, come on. Say something. I... No. I can't. Stop! Don't say it! I can't stay here anymore. Fig! What was the power of Ion worth in the end? I couldn't even save a single human from his despair. All I could do was watch him fall into his own shadow. That's not true! You did everything you could! Fig... You tried to soul hack him. You put your own life at incredible risk. What more could you have done? That's not what this is about, Ringo. Humanity as a race is captive to its own darkness. Sorrow destroys them just as it defines them. It is inescapable. And I can ignore it no longer. So I'm going to put an end to it all. You're not trying to finish the job Raven started. I don't need the Great One. I will end the conflict myself, and sever the chain of sorrow that binds this world together. But you can't. I can. With all that I have become, I see the way forward. Please give my regards to Arrow, Sizo, and Melody. Wait! Come back! I'm sorry. Ringo, where's Fig? She left. She said she can't stay here anymore. What's she going to do with all the covenants? I think... Fig's trying to carry on Raven's legacy. What? She's going to summon the Great One? She just said she'd end the conflict. Sever the chain of sorrow. <sighs> If Fig could actually make the world like that, it'd probably be a real paradise. But countless people before her have tried. And nobody's ever found a way to make that perfect world possible. Yeah. The impossibility's kind of the point, depending on who you ask. A perfect world's a pretty idea, but it's the struggle to get there that makes it all mean something. It's true that this world is full of conflict and injustice. We've all been hurt by it. But my scars and my pain are important to me. Fig didn't see it that way. I never understood her at all. Sounds like you do get it. No, I just said I didn't. Well, should we get going? I think so. Going? Where? Uh, to find Fig. That's the plan, right? It's like before we fought Raven. I was hurting because I didn't know what he was thinking. So, you said, let's go find out. But Fig and I... Hey, you can't understand someone unless you talk to them. That's true whether you're happy with someone or fighting. You two were too close. Or you assumed you were already close enough. You never took the time to actually know each other. 
Maybe you're right. Maybe I just thought Fig and I felt the same. But none of you were like that. You all had your own feelings. And you fought each other and hurt each other. But you ended up so much closer. Well, yeah. That's human. Don't you think that's why Ion made you like this? People, not data? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. How did I not even get that? I'm so stupid. You'd be surprised at how little most people actually know about themselves. We've still got time. We can make it if we're fast. Hey, we owe you two. So now it's our turn to help you out, right? What do you want to do, Ringo? I... I want to talk to her. There you go. First things first, you gotta connect with Fig. Find out what she really wants, what she's trying to do. Talk to her. And I mean, really talk. No witty repartee. No, hey Fig, what's up? How's the crushing depression? You two need a serious talk about your friendship. Friendship? Oof. Sounds so cheesy. But you're right. Fig has taken control of the Axis. Ion acknowledges Fig's proposal. Direct intervention in human society initiated. Fig has taken control of the Axis. Ion acknowledges Fig's proposal. Direct intervention in human society initiated. <laughs> we have to get to the Axis. She is no longer here. Fig assimilated all of Ion into her will, excluding you and me. She then set off for the 24th Ward Municipal Tower. If you wish to speak to her, I advise you move quickly. You didn't go with Fig? I have my own purpose within this system. You are likewise an incarnation of Ion. And my mission is to communicate with and inform the both of you. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fair, would it? Thanks, Flamma. I can neither receive nor comprehend, thanks. I am merely acting in accordance with the objective and hierarchy of Ion. I leave the best to you, Ringo. Your judgment, your plans, and your path are your own to decide. I pray that this outcome will lead to a better future. For humanity. For Ion. Flamma. You okay? Nope. I'm not okay. But I'll have time to deal with that later. Right. We have to catch up to Fig. Hey, you mentioned the Municipal Tower, right? That was... what, some big symbolic landmark about us being a paradise of technology? Why would she want to go there, of all places? Isn't that where Onda made the... The Omni System. The what? This is from before you joined us. It's a data transfer system created by a former Covenant holder, Ichiro Onda. The Omni System? Well... The ordered multispatial numerary information system allows data to travel at a speed faster than light. It's the cornerstone of operations for the new 24th Ward. Faster than light? 
So you can basically teleport abstracted data? With something like that, you could instantly hack into every single online device on the planet at once. And with how much of our lives are digital these days, that'd practically be world domination. Is there some data so important that she has to use the Omni system to transfer it? Or does she have some plan to exploit it somehow? Guess there's no point in speculating. Yeah. All we need to worry about right now is finding Fig, and stopping whatever end she has in mind. Otherwise, we're just trading one apocalypse for another. Right. Let's hurry to the 24th Ward Municipal Tower. Well, looks like I can't finish that one mission I was doing with her. Glad my is silent. Now let's go to the Soul Matrix. So if it says yes. And with that, we'll end the episode off right here. Like, comment, subscribe. Shirako ZX TV. I'm signing out.